You've arrived. Good. There is no time to waste. The mission is simple. Eliminate our target and prevent the mortal wars. Are you ready? Perfect. Brace yourself. Activating the portal now. Let's go. Hey. Hey. Steady now. Look at me. Focus on my eyes. I know. You are feeling dizzy right now. This is just a mild effect of the temporal displacement. You may also notice some of your memories swinging back and forth from past to future. It's all fine. This was your first time traveling, wasn't it? You are pretty strong considering everything. Oh, don't worry. I've trained many time traveling assassins and usually they don't react that well. This. This little injection will help you out. Just a little pinch and the dizziness will go away. Just take a deep breath, in and out, perfect, hydrate yourself. Your vital signs were a little off before, so I would like to proceed with a scan, right? The cerebral activity isn't the norm. No brain damage. The heartbeat is a little discontinued but nothing to worry about. Mm. Keep breathing. Nothing of major concern, I see. Stand still, let me. Right. I checked everything. Considering everything, you are pretty good. But let's check better. Your heartbeat. Stabilizing. Perfect. Now, breathe in. Let me hear your lungs. Good. Keep breathing. Very well. Your blood pressure was off too. Perhaps it is time to measure that too. Give me your arm. I'm going to inflate it very tight. Ready or not, here I come. But better than I thought. 
You're doing great. Believe me. Are you hungry? Here. Your action. Just some biscuits. Very energetic. Now that you feel better, let's talk about the mission. Our target is Dr. Elena Mercer. Intel says that she will be in her private lab tonight. Our opportunity window is small. We strike swiftly, eliminate the target and vanish. No collateral damage, no traces left behind. I sense your doubt, and it's justified. This mission is heavy, but we will carry this burden for the future, for our present. Can I count on you? Do you understand the weight of this choice? I need you with me on this. It's a Two-person mission. I understand your hesitation, but the fate of the world depends on us. Yes, I saw those tapes. I remember them. Dr. Mercer, may have started with good intentions, aspiring to end humanity suffering with their resources. But the outcome went out of control. To whoever is receiving this message, I am Dr. Elena Mercer, and the subject of my work challenges the natural order itself. Immortality, through cellular regeneration, is within our grasp now. This isn't a matter of can we, but rather should we. A weakness that cells that should age refuse to yield to time. The promise of eternal life holds glory, yet it becomes a storm of ethical quandaries. If you are seeing this, it means I have decided to proceed with the experiment. What I have here is the culmination of my life's work, the potential to rewrite our genetic destiny. This could be the key to understand the mortal cells, or it could be a one-way ticket to my own demise. is done. Now we wait. It's been several hours since my injection and the results are astonishing. My vision, once bounded by corrective lenses, is now perfect. The cellular regeneration has exceeded even my expectations. I'm not naive to the gravity of this experiment, yet I stand before you healthier than I've been in years. It appears I've turned back the clock, but 
At what cost? Time will tell. For now, I can only hope that the path I've taken leads us to a brighter future. Here. This is going to be your suit for the mission. It will prevent bullets and swords to penetrate it. It is made of a special fabric. Yes, black is such the perfect color for a nighttime haste, don't you think? Are you still feeling dizzy? Then, let me help you to dress up. Don't worry, there are still some hours before the mission. Your legs. Now, your arms. Good. The other arm. Perfect. Let me help you out with the tip. Give you more protection, a corset. To protect your boost. Turn around, please. Good. Now, the gloves. Yes, this place was prepared for this mission. There is all the equipment, medicines and weapons we could need. Well, it took them months to bring everything here. But I guess they started to plan this mission years and years ago. Well, I guess they never found two time-traveling assassins that wanted to become mortal again. We are an exception, don't you think? Give me your hand. I mean, we gain pretty well in our job, and still we accept it. <laughs> I like you, you know that. I hope we will do many, many missions ahead together. The other hand. Cool. Now, the bracers on your wrist. Good. Keep this dagger inside your bracers. Perfect. Now, the boots.
another dagger to put it in your boot. More weapons for you. This one, it can look like a normal bracelet or chopper if you like most. But it is very useful for you know what. Take it and use it in case you were disarmed. But the main weapon arrives finally. This dagger is a very special weapon. It has been imprinted with your genetic marks, so you are the only one able to use it. If I was to use it, it would be just a normal dagger. But you, you can activate a special ability of it. Nanobots, able to distract even immortal cells. We still don't know if the scientist already used the serum on herself. But in any case, this will be able to end the life of even of an immortal. And it is yours. Welcome in the guild of the time traveling assassin, officially. Now, any more concerns? Good, I see that you now understand. Question Are you feeling ready? Then Let's go. Time to save the future. Our present. We are here. Stay low. The target is just ahead. Our plan needs both of us. I will create a distraction, throwing security away. That's when you strike. It is vital we synchronize our actions. Wait, stop everything. I am you, just from the future. What? Who the hell are you? And what are you doing here? Who sent you? I know how impossible this seems. And I don't have much time to explain it. Look at me. Look closely. It's us. I've come back because we must not continue down this path. This can't be happening. Is this the enemy's doing? A mental game? Please, not trickery. If we kill Dr. Mercer, humanity is doomed. The wars my end, but the genetic decay that follows, it's far worse. We didn't just end the wars, we doomed humanity to a slow death. How could we? Our intentions were to save humanity from itself. In my timeline, we believed we were doing the right thing. We killed the scientist, stopped the immortal wars, but we didn't see the horizon beyond the battlefield. Genetic stagnation set in. Without the advances in cellular modification, humanity couldn't adapt to new diseases, couldn't adjust to the ever-changing environment. Our genetic evolution, it just Stalled. It was a, a 
as a full humanity was suffocating slowly. Numbers went down, society crumbled. That's the future I'm here to prevent. Everything we have done, the choices that led us here, we were meant to do everything to prevent the war, not destroy humanity. You, you are the turning point now. You need to decide the next action. We have come so far. The mission was clear, but this, this changes everything. What's your goal? You know now the outcome of our original mission. It's your goal now. We can't afford to be rushed. What do you say? That's unexpected. If you believe there is another way, I will follow you. We will talk to Dr. Mercer. Seems like we are taking a detour from history. Let's make it count. I'm with you. Who are you? How did you get in here? We are from the future you are about to create. But we think there is a better way for all of us to go forward. Go on. Explain it. I think I can work on that. I knew something was wrong with my decision. We will save the future together. You have my word.